YouTube and welcome to another video and today I am going to be show you be showing you how to make uh, thumbnails for your YouTube videos if you have a YouTube channel because well this is mostly for Chromebook because um, I'm using Chromebook and it took me a long time to figure out how to um, make thumbnails and stuff so without further ado let's get on with it now first you want to go on Pixlr Dot com. It is spelt wrong. It's supposed to be. P I X L R. Okay. Now. Uh oh. Went way too far down. You want to go down to it. Pixlr Editor. Do not do Express. Pixlr Editor. Sorry, my laptop's kind of slow. Alright. Create new image. Go to the width. And put 1280. Then the height is 720. And it has to be transparent. Remember, transparent. Okay. So click OK, and it should open this. Now, I've already got an image that I'm going to use, but if what you want is... Um, uh, I'm just gonna get a sunburst background. Sunburst background, and then you want to put 1280x720, like these. I'll just grab this because it looks cool. Wait for it to enhance. Sorry, my laptop's pretty slow. Alright, save image. And I'm pretty sure you guys can see this. Hope you can. Okay. Save it. Now, control. You go back to Pixlr. You can X this tab out. Control O. So you can open a file. And then, once it loads, come on. Uh, this and then control A C and then click on your other one control V and now go back to the one you copied and exit out and click no so now we just have this now what you're gonna do is okay so for me I have minecraft Teen Boy PNG. For me, I usually use this. I use like the Xbox Teen Boy, or I use one that I made for myself. Now, on my Oblivion video, one of my Oblivion video, um, it you would notice that it's different. Now, that's because I got this. Uh, skin editor on my phone. I just took the Xbox skin and put it on my phone and then I put it into the editor which allowed me to move its arms around and then I emailed it to myself, got it on here and then I turned it into a PNG using something on Pixlr but we'll talk about that later. For now we'll just use this. There will be an annotation on the screen now taking you to when I show you how to do a PNG. But for now, control O. And get that U. And since this one is like a uh, 2, you want to do the same thing as um, the other thing. Since this one is two, I'm just gonna like hide the other one outside of frame. So there we go. And then I'll just put. Oh, uh, you click the A for text and just. Awesome. Thumbnail. Yay. And then you can adjust the size. 
and the font um, if you have font saved onto your um, if you have font saved onto your computer you can do this but there's the thumbnail and yeah so this is just a quick video and right now I am going to get on how to make the a PNG out of it so let me X out of this and I'm gonna need something to make into a PNG Drop bombs. Okay. So, um, my recorder thing. And if you didn't know, my recorder thing that I'm using is Screencaster. So, like, uh, my uh, sound is going to start being a little wiggy because Screencaster is wigging out. So, what you want to do is you want to go to Pixlr.com. Right back. And then just, um, what I prefer to do. I'll just open an image from my computer, a random one that I'm going to turn into a PNG. So let's get the creeper thing I had earlier um, that I used for my very first thumbnail. So, you. I'm just going to make the face a PNG. And if you don't know what a PNG is, it's basically like um, the creeper face would be the only thing you see. The rest would be transparent and you can put on random things. So what you want to do is get either this or this. I prefer the lasso tool. And you could just start by making a really big space and then click backspace and it like got rid of all of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, kind of make a circle around the creeper to get it um, saved-ish so I won't mess it up in any way. It is kind of laggy because my computer's being laggy, but sorry. Now, since I know, like, kind of where I'm going to do it, I can click um, this magic tool and then just click anywhere, and it highlights all of that. Click backspace, and boom, there's that. Now, do the same for everything else. It will leave these little spaces just because um, this right here is textured, but you just want to click on those. Oh, geez, lag. Okay. I'll move these out the way. Sorry, I am a mess right now. Backspace all of that out. And then backspace all of that out. And then you just want to try to get everything and when... It seems like it would be a lot of work. Go back to the lasso tool. Ugh. Oh, crap, no. I messed that up. Okay. Like that. Sorry, I'm zoning out a bit. Um, I'm used to not talking while I work. Ugh. There. Backspace all of that out. That got rid of a bunch. And then you just want to keep repeating. Go back and forth from the brush tool if you need to. Just to get everything worked out. Um, I like the lasso a bit more than the brush tool. But uh, that, that about wraps this up. Um, I know I'm not done with this yet, but that about wraps this up. I'm Kane. I'm signing off. Goodbye. I'm going to finish this. Come on, finish it. Uh, my screen recorder doesn't want me to finish it, but I have to. Oh, and uh, you can also, you can also, like, uh, move this around.